International Weather News, August 23, 2025, Opening, Good Day, and Welcome to this Special Weather Bulletin for August 23, 2025, we are now entering the most active and critical stage of the Atlantic hurricane season. In just a few short days, multiple cyclonic systems have formed and are still developing, each carrying unpredictable variables creating a complex weather picture stretching from the U.S. East Coast to the Caribbean and even into Central America. In today's program, we will analyze three main highlights. Hurricane Aaron, now weakened, but still leaving a mark. A tropical disturbance near Bermuda, a prime candidate to become the next named storm. A tropical wave moving into the Caribbean, weak for now, but with hidden potential as it crosses very warm waters. In addition, we will look at the broader picture, thunderstorms affecting Caribbean islands, flood risks in Central America, rough seas, and the ongoing threat of rapid storm intensification in the weeks ahead. Hurricane Aaron, fading but leaving a mark. After days of tracking across the Atlantic and stirring up rough seas, Hurricane Aaron has now entered its final stage. The system is losing tropical characteristics transitioning into a post-tropical cyclone. Yet, this does not mean it has disappeared completely. Nova Scotia and Newfoundland in Canada are still experiencing strong winds, with gusts recorded up to 80 km per hour. High seas and turbulent waters continue to disrupt shipping and offshore fishing activities. More importantly, Aaron has left its mark on the ocean surface. Waters along its track have cooled slightly due to vertical mixing. However, most of the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and especially the Gulf of Mexico remain abnormally warm. In other words, rather than calming the basin, Aaron has inadvertently cleared the way for future storms to tap into the immense energy still available. Disturbance near Bermuda, possible, FENON. Another focal point is a tropical disturbance near Bermuda. Satellite imagery shows a clear circulation with growing convective bands making it a strong candidate to become the next named storm. Forecasts suggest that within the next 24 to 72 hours, this system could develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm. If named, it will be called Fennin, continuing the 2025 Atlantic list. This puts Bermuda on high alert. Forecast models indicate two main scenarios. The system shifts slightly eastward, bringing only light rain and gusty winds. The system tracks directly over the island, delivering winds of 70 to 80 km per hour along with scattered showers. While no signs currently point to a major hurricane, for Bermuda's residents, long familiar with smaller storms, readiness remains crucial. Tropical wave into the Caribbean, a wild card. Another tropical wave is approaching the Caribbean, drawing close attention in the past 24 hours. Convection has become better organized, and forecasters suggest it could briefly reach tropical depression status. However, it faces a barrier of strong upper-level wind shear, which typically suppresses storm development. This gives the Caribbean a temporary reprieve from an immediate strong storm. But the story doesn't end there. Once this system enters the Western Caribbean, where ocean waters are exceptionally warm, often described as a thermal pressure cooker, the chance of rapid re-strengthening is real. Meteorologists warn that Jamaica, Cuba, Honduras, Nicaragua, and the Yucatan Peninsula should prepare for this possibility. Caribbean and Central America, heavy rain and flood risk. In the coming days, many Caribbean islands and Central American countries will be affected by this disturbance. Barbados, St. Lucia, Grenada, Trinidad, increasing rainfall, with localized thunderstorms late this weekend. Costa Rica, Panama, Nicaragua, Honduras, from Monday onward. Prolonged heavy rains could trigger flash floods and urban flooding. Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, scattered rain, with totals of 50 to 75 millimeters, and in mountainous terrain potentially exceeding 100 millimeters. Given that infrastructure in many of these areas is vulnerable, even a single heavy downpour could lead to landslides and flash flooding, a concern local governments must take seriously. Hot oceans, a dangerous energy source. One of the most concerning factors is sea surface temperature. Apart from a small area cooled by Aaron, 
Nearly the entire Atlantic, Caribbean, and Gulf of Mexico is warmer than average. This means that any disturbance entering the region carries the risk of rapid intensification. This phenomenon, where a storm strengthens dramatically within 24 to 36 hours, has become more common in recent years and could occur again in September. Such conditions raise the danger that a weak system could suddenly explode into a major hurricane, making preparation and response far more challenging. Eastern U.S. and Canada, minor impacts. While the Caribbean braces for heavy rain, the U.S. East Coast and Atlantic Canada will see lighter impacts. Nova Scotia and Newfoundland, gusty winds and scattered rain from Aaron's remnants. Southeastern U.S., Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, short bursts of rainfall totaling 50 to 75 millimeters, possibly causing localized flooding. New England and Canadian Maritimes, scattered showers expected, which may help add moisture and slightly ease ongoing wildfire conditions. Conclusion and Outlook To summarize today's international weather picture, Aaron is ending its journey, but its oceanic footprint remains. Bermuda must watch closely in the coming days as the chance of Fennin forming is high. The Caribbean and Central America should brace for heavy rains, flash floods, and landslide risks. The Gulf of Mexico and Western Caribbean remain the hottest danger zones, where any storm could intensify rapidly. The 2025 hurricane season shows no signs of being easy. The true peak is expected in September and October when all atmospheric and oceanic conditions align for powerful storm formation. We will continue to bring you fast and accurate updates so you can stay informed and prepared for any situation. Thank you for watching today's bulletin. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest weather and climate news worldwide.